Donna, I've just heard some terrible news. Have you? I've just been speaking to some of the kids from your school. I hardly really know how to tell you this. Miss Strickland has been involved in a terrible accident, a car accident. She's been killed, I'm afraid. Some awful hit-and-run driver. She was killed instantly, so I suppose at least she didn't linger. One of the lads was telling me the head was quite a distance away. How could somebody do a thing like that? It was an accident. Yeah. It was driving too fast and I didn't see... Holly, I didn't hear you knock. Emily said I could come straight through. I suppose you've heard as well. Yeah, but I, I'm, I'm glad you've broken the news, Mrs Hope. I was worried about doing it. Oh, Donna's very sensitive. She's like me. I'll leave you both to mourn together then, shall I? I just found out you've not been to school. I couldn't. That's all right. You were going to tell her, weren't you? No. Yes, you were. Donna, you mustn't. Do you hear me? Nobody suspects anything. And you've got the best alibi of them all. Because you was here in bed all night, weren't you? Donna, weren't you? Jolly. Oh, I've just got a message for Mark. Oh, that would be over in a sec. Sorry to hear about your headmistress. Mm. What are you doing here? I need to talk to you. <sighs> Look, I'm busy. If you don't listen to me, I'll make a scene. Draw attention to both of us. What is it? Been to see Donna. She skived off school today, said she was sick. When I went in, she was just about to tell Viv. Oh, stupid little... Matt, she's scared. She's scared. We need to talk. All of us, get together, check our stories, make her swear. No. Why not? We shouldn't meet up. It's the only way. I don't want to. She'll blab. I know she will. Well, stop her. Tell you what, you stop her. You're the one that's going to get done for it. I've had enough. Everything all right, Mark? Sisters. I think we should get married. <laughs>